Welcome back. We just heard from Next Digital founder and founder of Apple Daily, Jimmy Lai. He is in Hong Kong. Joining me right now uh, in uh, Georgia is Georgia Congressman, House Judiciary Committee member Doug Collins. And Congressman, it's always a pleasure to see you. Thank you so much for being hey, here. You just heard from Jimmy Lai. Your reaction? It, it is stunning. It, it is really stunning. The CCP, the Chinese Communist Party, they have shown themselves to be the, the authoritarian regime that, that many of us have been pointing out and the president have been pointing out for, for many years. And they're just seemingly more and more controlling uh, everything that they're trying to get in touch with. That's why, you know, and you and I have talked about the issue that I introduced that bill. He made mention of how do you get at them? You, you attack their money source. Well, that's exactly what our bill uh, does right now. It goes after them and says if they don't come clean to the international community, if they don't release all the Hong Kong distance, if they don't do those things, then we're going to put uh, asset freezes on the top officials. We're going to limit their travel. We're also going to uh, limit their access to financial markets here in the United States and around in, in international communities, putting pressure on them. That's the way that you get back at them on this uh, issue, and I think that's the best way to do it. But Jimmy is amazing stand. That that is a patriot. It'd be somebody standing for him for freedoms. We just observed Memorial Day here, where people have died for the very freedoms that we cherish. This is someone who's actually fighting for those freedoms right now as we speak. That's exactly right. And your legislation in terms of holding China accountable is exactly what he said. You're right. He talked about sanctions. Uh, he talked about following the money, exactly what your bill does. How much support do you have for your bill, uh, Congressman? Because I know that there are a lot of bills right now in Congress, up to 60 bills or so, uh, that are trying to hold China accountable in different aspects. Yours is following the money with sanctioning individuals. There are others that basically just have, you know, incentives to take the supply chain out of China. Yeah, I think you've got to go after them. And, and this is why we had partnered with Senator Graham. He has the Senate version of this. We have the House version of this. We're actually going after the, the into the heart of the problem itself, and that is, it is the, the Communist Party in China. We're going after the government structure. We're going after their top leaders. And, and you've hit it perfectly, and Jimmy hit it perfectly as well. If you want to get at them, they go after their money. They don't care about other human rights. They don't care about the other things in China. They, they abuse their own people. We saw that with this virus epidemic and the pandemic breakout. But what they do understand is they know that to maintain a world standard and the power they have, they have to have that economic standing. They have to have access to liquidity and capital. And that's where uh, you have to hit them at to get their attention. That's why President Trump has done such a great job getting their attention on trade, because he went exactly where they needed to be hit, and that was in the pocketbook. Yeah, it's pretty extraordinary. We'll keep watching that and have Jimmy Lai back. It's, it's very much expected that he's going to get arrested once again. But he is fighting yeah. the good fight for freedom and for China to, to keep its promise, by the way. Uh, all right, let me turn real quick to the case of Michael Flynn. We have a new turn here. Judge Emmett Sullivan hiring high-profile trial attorney Beth Wilkinson uh, coming on the heels of his decision not to dismiss this case against the former national security advisor, uh, which, of course, the Justice Department already requested, drop the case. Congressman, your reaction to this? I mean, what does the judge want? I mean, does he does he truly want to be judge, juror, and prosecutor, and even possibly now his own government in his own defense team? This has become a circus because Judge Sullivan will just not do exactly what the law requires. The prosecutor said we want to drop this case. We're moving forward with this and moving on. Instead, he's turned it into a, really what it's looked like now, more of a political circus because he don't like the outcome. And my question is, is when does a judge get to also not only just interpret law but make the law, make the prosecution, and then go through uh, with that? And I think him. Bringing in his own attorney because the appeals court has now called him on the carpet about this is really a, a, a it's an interesting prediction, but it also shows that a judge is out there in really uncharted territory, and this needs to be looked at. Unbelievable, Congressman. It's good to see you this morning. Thank you so much, sir. Good to we'll see you as well. Take soon. care, Congressman.